Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. I will start by creating my almond on both of my fingers, which is going to be my pinky and my middle finger. All products used are going to be linked down in the description below. I'm making sure I'm having the almond the right way or the way I want it to look just because I want to save a little time by not filing again to sharpen it up but this is completely optional like you could just do it and then file around it and make it sharp it's totally up to you I will be doing a full color on this nail as well as on my thumbnail. So I just go ahead and apply my color. I'm not creating any thickness with this. It's kind of like a polish with acrylic because we are going to Velour Apex with clear acrylic. Actually, I'm not going to use a full color on this nail. I'm actually going for an ombre. I'm sorry, I messed that up. But I'm just creating an ombre. you see me do this before. Basically, just applying the color I want almost entirely on the nail. And then I go ahead and apply my other color and blend it in as I wanted to look. Also guys, let me know if you want me to just put everything down in the description or if you'd rather just me um, type it while I do it. For example, it's then, instead of like saying everything I'm going to use on the description, just say like, oh, I'm using number 100 right now or something like that, for example. Just let me know down in the comments if that would be a good idea. And of course, as always, this is just an idea I'm giving you guys. You can totally switch it up, you know, make them all French tips, make them all ombre, um, you know, make them all a solid color, you know, mix and match, change the colors. It's completely up to you. This is just a little um, sprint inspiration I kind of had in mind. Thinking of one of my friends that loves butterflies. So I went with this look. Right here, I'm just gonna be creating my French tip vertical ombre. Wow, that sounds sophisticated. <laughs> but basically, I just grabbed um, one color and kind of pat it down throughout almost entirely the nail, making sure I don't go on top of my almond because we are gonna cap that on clear. And then I just go ahead and apply that and making sure it's like a little blended more to the side than towards the middle. 
and then I just grab another another sorry wet bead of the yellow color and apply it right on top and go ahead and blend that making sure that there's no harsh line on it but much rather blend it yeah you want to make sure you use very wet beads to create this blend So right here we're just capping the nails as I mentioned earlier um, the ones with the French we're only gonna be using the clear on the tips because we already build our apex and our strength with the cover color and on the rest of the solid colors then I'm just gonna go ahead and create my apex and the whole strength of the nail Right now, I'm showing you how I file my cuticle area. As I said before, this is a safety cuticle bit. It will not cut unless you know you go fully rough on it on your skin or something. But yeah, this shouldn't um, hurt you or your client. You know, it shouldn't bother. It's actually just taking down that acrylic on your cuticle area. Also, I forgot to mention that the first part of that um, cuticle filing was on real time. So that's how I do it. Not right now. This is actually sped up. I just want to say sorry, guys, if you hear any background noises. But it's 1230 at night and... There's a lot of people outside making noise for no reason. So I had to, you know, come upstairs, wait until everything was quiet, but I guess that's not gonna happen. So I go ahead with my filing routine, you already know how I go, I file my cuticle, then I go ahead and file the rest of the nails, and then you're gonna go see me later on filing the nails with my 100, 180 grit file. Since these nails are gonna be square, you wanna make sure you grab that file straight so you have the sharp square look. And guys, I just want to say that this is my sister's hand. I am not working on anybody right now. As you know, we're all under quarantine still. Just hoping and praying that everything goes back to normal so I can actually start working again.
So I went ahead and buffed the nails just because I want to have a very smooth surface. So when I apply my water decals, they're actually smooth. Well, the background of the nail is smooth. So right here, I just cut my little decals. And you want to take off the clear plastic that's on them and just sink them in water. That's all. You know, give it a few seconds and you're going to see right here, there should be ready to just slide off as you see me doing right there um, just slide it off apply where i want it to and that's basically it And guys, I don't know, but for some reason, that slide was giving me a headache. Like, it did not want to stick on the nail. And I'm pretty sure I took off the clear plastic of it. But, you know, sometimes things happen. After you apply your butterflies, you want to make sure you pat them dry with a little piece of napkin. After I dry my butterflies, I just go ahead and apply my top coat and cure for 60 seconds. I just want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for giving me support. Thank you for all the love. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment. Give me a like. Love you all. Be safe. See you next time.